In case you missed it, the MCOM world just had a huge wake up call. Guys, we live in a world where invisible systems hold up everything we do from ordering food to catching a flight, from banking to emergency alerts. It all runs on digital infrastructure. And when that infrastructure falters, even if it's for minutes, the ripple effects are immediate and global. The recent Cloudflare outage is proof positive of that, proof that our public systems are fragile, proof that we cannot afford to be complacent, and proof that you have to have your emergency communications plan dialed in because you never know when you're gonna need it. And in case you weren't aware, just back on December 5th, Cloudflare, a backbone provider for internet security and traffic management, went down for 25 minutes. And it impacted 28% of all HTTP traffic. And this led to major sites like LinkedIn, Zoom, Spotify, Canva, DoorDash, and even airports all reporting disruptions. And this was far from a one-off. In fact, this was the second major outage in three weeks, uh, just following a November 18th disruption that lasted hours. Now, of course, they were quick to say that the, the cause wasn't an attack, but a configuration change to Cloudflare's firewall system while patching a vulnerability in the React server components. But that's always the case. It's given right. It's never an attack. They're always just making some little minuscule change and something happens. So is that the real reason? Who knows? There, there's no really way for us to confirm that. But Cloudflare itself admitted, we let the internet down again. Okay, but seriously, think about that. One company, one change, and suddenly a fifth of the internet is unreachable? If that was really the case, talk about fragility. Where are all of the fail safes? I, you know, I look at events like this and I think, hang on a second, traffic lights at this point are basically ancient technology and they figured out really early on that as a failsafe to make it impossible for an intersection traffic signal light to mess up and show green in all directions at the same time. They would do this by putting a lesser sized fuse in the green lights so that if that did happen, it physically couldn't handle the electrical load and would just pop and break, causing all the lights to just go dark rather for them all to turn green. I mean, that, that is a incredible failsafe, but so simple. Now, we talk a lot about emergency comms on this channel, so here's why this matters. First, there is the centralization risk. Cloud, uh, Cloudflare supports about 20% of all web traffic. When it fails, the internet itself stumbles. Then you have the systemic fragility. Similar outages have hit AWS, Microsoft Azure, and CrowdStrike in recent years, grounding flights and disrupting hospitals. So. This is getting to the point where it's nothing new and it's not like it's just taking out Instagram or Facebook for a period of time. I know, heaven forbid for some of you, there is absolutely true public reliance on these systems, transit systems, financial platforms, healthcare portals, and emergency services all depend on these networks. I can speak on that firsthand. Um, now, this whole video here, this is not about blaming Cloudflare. It's about recognizing that our public systems are built on extremely fragile foundations and that fragility demands preparation. So why do we make such a big deal about comms? In a crisis, reliable information is the oxygen. Without it, panic spreads much faster than truth. So if you're watching this and trying to think about at least like, you know, what the core principles of an emergency comms plan are, they are things like, we say it a lot, having redundancy. Don't rely on one platform. Have backups, radios, satellite, phones, SMS trees. And due to the confusion, you should plan to have some clarity ready to go, like pre-scripted messages for different possible scenarios you can come up with, you know, specific to your area and probably some sort of chain of command. Who speaks, who relays, 
who confirms? And if possible, and this can be tough, I definitely get that, but you know, some community integration in all this. Families, teams, neighborhoods, they all need shared protocols because we never know how far and wide or even unsuspecting these outages can be. During the Cloudflare outage, even Down Detector, the site that literally tracks outages, went down. So take that as your either your wake-up call or your reminder, if you're already kind of geared up for this, that your monitoring tools can fail too. And then I'll bring this right back to the importance of having situational awareness because we've been talking about that a ton here recently. Train your people to recognize when systems are failing and pivot to backups. It's just like a fire drill. You don't wait for smoke to figure out where the exits are. You know, if you ride a plane, I'm the guy counting the seats so that I know if I can't see where these are because you practice what you plan for, you prepare. So in looking at this as a whole, the Cloudflare outage was short, 25 minutes, but it was enough to remind us how fragile our systems are. Next time it could be longer. Next time it could be harder. And the next time your family or your team or your community might need answers right then and there. So dial in your emergency communications plan now because when the systems falter, awareness and preparation aren't just survival. That is true leadership at that point. That's where you, you are demonstrating your resilience and that's how we protect what matters most. So hope that was a good wake up call or a reminder or motivation. Take it how you want. I'll see you on the next one. And with that, be safe.